The frogs are rampant in this world at this point. They're everywhere because I keep putting frogs places because I love them. It's kind of funny. You walk around and you're like all the way across town from the pond and all of a sudden there's a frog. Like right now. Anyways, today's build is a little bit twofold because the challenge is to build a tree house. However, as you can see, there aren't exactly good large trees in our town to build a tree house in, which means I have to build a custom tree and I'm terrified. I am no good whatsoever at organics, but I'm going to give it a shot. So today's build palette for the tree house is um, this one right here. Our challenge is to use composters in this build. So we'll be using dark oak, composters, and then regular oak. And I think that the composter actually provides like a good transition color between the two. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I'm hoping to add like warped wood as some of the various details and contrast to just the plain old brown of the treehouse. Um, for our custom tree, we'll be using mostly oak wood and spruce wood, I think, along with fences of oak or possibly both of them. And then oak and azalea, or not, 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 not azalea, acacia leaves. Fortunately, in the jungle, they're actually very close to the same shade of green. Um, in other biomes, that leaf combo doesn't work. Trust me, I've tried. of like starter base slash you know kids tree house rather than a full-blown giant house in a tree you walk up to it on just like a foresty path I put so many mushrooms around and I love it mushrooms make me happy but then you can climb right up the ladder right into the front and look back out over the park and eventually there will be like a harbor down there. Actually, we're building that tomorrow, the wharf area. And then out into the jungle beyond. Um, and this side you can't really see much at all except for a teensy bit of the little village. But we've got a bed. We've got a couple barrels and cute little decorations and a brewing stand. Working on this tree was super interesting because... Again, I'm not super comfortable working with organic shapes and looking at it now, I might fill out the top even a little bit more, but I think it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I've been getting some comments of like, wow, you build so much better than me. And I would like to like let you know that I've only been playing Minecraft since like 
June or July. So it's been about six months that I've been playing Minecraft. But I've watched so many videos and watched my husband build in Minecraft and just gotten an idea of like what looks good. It's really interesting because I was like, how the heck do you build with a bunch of blocks? But I've watched so many really skilled builders out there. Um, I'm literally watching a false symmetry video right now which I mentioned yesterday. I was also watching Gemini Tay videos and just really like watching how they do their different builds because I love their build styles. Um, so like watching how Gem builds trees is was a really big like help in how I put this tree together and beyond that also looking at how things look in the real world and taking inspiration from that anyways I'll probably talk a lot more about that when I do my final wrap up for this building series but <clears throat> I just wanted to put that out there that this is the first stuff I've built basically um, I have one completed build before I started this series and if I can if I can do it and learn from watching other people and just trying new things you can too that's all it takes is is looking at how other thing other people do things and then figuring out how that works for you this is day 20, so we are at two-thirds of the way through this series. If you've been enjoying it, please do give it a like and subscribe. I realize that YouTube doesn't like having lots of content pushed out from our creator, which is understandable, but that probably means that these videos aren't getting seen as much as they might be. So if you give a like to this video, that actually will really help me out and let more people see this journey that I've been on. Thanks for watching, those of you who have been with me from the start, and I'm really excited for everybody who's been joining along the way. I'll see you tomorrow for our build then. Bye!